Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To apply advanced page setup elements to reports, like a header and footer, use the page setup dialog box. One way to access this dialog box is to first ensure you are viewing the report to print in the report view on screen. Then click the file tab in the ribbon and select the print command at the left side of the backstage view. To the right, click the Page Setup hyperlink at the bottom of the Print section to open the Page Setup dialog box for the current report. Within this dialog box, you can click the Page tab to show the page settings. In the Orientation section, you can select the desired page orientation. Below that, in the Scaling section, you can select the desired scaling to use when printing the report. To adjust the page to a percentage of its normal size, Choose the Adjust To option button and then enter the desired percentage into the adjacent spinner box. You can also select the Fit To option and then enter the number of pages wide by the number of pages tall into the adjacent spinner boxes. In the other section you can select a paper size from the paper size drop down. You can manually enter the first page number if desired into the first page number field. On the Margins tab Enter the desired margin increments into the top, left, right, and bottom spinner boxes. You can choose to apply a border around every page, only the outer pages, or around no pages by making a selection in the borders around section. To create a header for the report, click the header tab. Headers let you insert additional information at the top of report pages, like the number of pages in total for example. At the top of this tab is a preview section that shows the content that will print in the header based on the selections you make. Below that, select whether the header information should appear in the left, center, or right sides of the page by selecting the tab that corresponds to the name of the section into which you want to enter the header information. You can enter information into each section if desired. In the selected section, click into the large white text box and then type the information to display. You can also insert commonly used fields of information by clicking the buttons below the text box. At the far left, you can click the Format Text Font button to open a font dialog box and set the font used for the header information. The next buttons from left to right insert fields for the page number, the number of pages, the date, the time, and the file name. The far right button is the Insert Picture button and opens the Insert Picture dialog box when clicked. This lets you insert a picture from your computer into the selected header section. Below that, you can choose a field name from the general drop-down and then click the Add button to the right to add the selected field to the header. You can also select the name of a field within the project file from the Project Fields drop-down and then click the Add button to the right to add the data from that field to the header. You can also add information to the footer of a report by clicking the Footer tab. You create a report footer the exact same way you create a report header. However, the footer information appears at the bottom of report pages versus the top. The Legend and View tabs are only used when printing views of a project file and show a legend to interpret the value of tasks like milestone tasks and set additional options for printing the view respectively. They are not used for page setup in reports. When finished setting the report's advanced page setup options in the page setup dialog box, click the OK button to apply them. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.